I'm down. Nine hundred two dollars. And how much money have you made so far? Uh, like five bucks. <laughs> I think the idea of like what money means to me has changed. I passed that milestone of like becoming a millionaire late 2017. I think money doesn't mean too much to me. I don't think we need as much of it as we think we do. People do find it hard to talk about money because it's so private. It's like talking about underwear. What is going on everyone? It's Ricky with Learn Plan Profit. Uh, yesterday I covered profits at 63.31. Today during pre-market hours, it hit highs of $69. My name is Ricky Gutierrez. I'm 23 years old and I live in Gilbert, Arizona. What I do for a living is investing in the stock market. I'm an influencer. I own a series of real estate properties and I run a series of online businesses. roughly know how much money you make annually? Yeah, so with uh, this year with the different products that we have going on, uh, I can probably bring in like six to seven million. My name is Azariah Randall and I'm 21 years old and I live in San Diego, California. What do I do for a living? I primarily deliver food. Signed up for this food delivery app. And how much do you say you make like on average? I can make like easily like a hundred a day. Hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day. Continue working hard, continue following dreams, let your passion be what drives your success. Like always guys, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team. Uh, how did you do just in that session? Um, as in trading, not very good. So I'm down about 1%. In big picture, like it's not much, it's just because I'm right now invested with about $30,000. Boom, 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 what's going on guys? I made a mistake and I covered profits yesterday on you guys and look what I missed out on. We have these here, the R8 there. I have my other GTR over there. I own that house too. My favorite part of the day is working with my private group and seeing the, the excitement that they give back is probably one of the most rewarding things. My goal is to create a series of applications that are worth like hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars. I think if I had $10 billion in my pocket right now, I think I would still be the same person because I have a stronger relationship with my faith. Matthew 6 and 21 says, wherever your treasure is, the desires of your heart will be also. What is going on, everyone? I'm gonna be packaging some orders for Tech with Apparel. So you just sent your parents to Europe? Yeah, so they went for, I think, a total of like 24 days. Do you buy your parents a lot of things? Anytime it is that they like ask or need something, like I'll be like paying my little sister's tuition for her university. But then anytime that they, they're like running low or something, then I can assist, but. What's up, Instagram? Yo, look, it's a good day. We got we got John here. He's following me around all day, pretending that my life is interesting. It might be dirty. Uh oh, we got a delivery. We got the text message. We're going to the Broken Yoke, which is down here on 6. Cool. Got room for two of us in here? Hi. <laughs> Bye. Hey. Yeah, no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, Ricky, where are you at with your trading today? Do you know? Like, I'm down. Um, oh my God, actually more than I thought. $902. Do you sweat that at all? Or? No, because like, I've been down like $2,000 and it recovers and I make like $3,000 on it. So.
So right now, as you can see, we don't have any deliveries. So we're waiting, playing the waiting game. It's kind of, it's just like when you text your crush and then you're waiting for her to text you back, but she never does. Honestly, I think I messed up with this position. I'm someone that like, I, I value the dollar so much. Like you saw me go to Chipotle and I won't get a drink. I just became very frugal from a very early age and very aware of how to try to make money and the stress that it brings on and seeing how it acted as a negative catalyst for my parents' relationship. We went to McDonald's and I, I overheard that my parents weren't doing as well financially and my cousin was like, oh, I want a Big Mac and I want large fries and I like looked at him and I was like, no, don't get that, like, you know, just because of the extra cost. That's when I really started to you know, try to buy and sell like Snicker bars or Powerades just to f pay for myself so my parents didn't have to pay me. Boom. So that one's gonna pay like nine bucks at Asia Walk. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Dr. Pepper, Seafood Delight, House Egg Rolls, and the uh, Egg Flour Soup. Yeah. Awesome. This order is hella big. Waiting round two. When I was growing up, we were we were good financially up until my age, like seven, I guess I would say. That was when my mom was like a single mom to me and my two sisters. We didn't know we were poor or like broke or anything because my mom did such a good job of hiding it and just like grinding and hustling. But then like growing up, I kind of did understand like our financial hardships. Look how much we got paid for that. 35 bucks. Cause that's like with a fat tip and whatnot. Nice. Yeah. This is exciting. So what happened? Um, she says she's missing an item. Yes, I'm so sorry. Yes, it's another part of your order. We have it back here. There's three salads, right? Yes. Okay, thank you. want to turn your passion for cars into profit. We are reopening the 30-day Flipping Wheels Mentorship Challenge. We sold that last time in three days. All you have to do now is swipe up to learn more. Uh, I got terrible news. They don't have the tomato and mozzarella panini, but they do have... So I think it's this building right here. Is this 2230? Yeah, Dope. Thank you. No problem. You are better now, better now. <laughs> Yeah, it's been super slow for like an hour. Um, probably won't get any more orders just because we're downtown and everybody's probably like on their way home already right now. Yeah, we'll just call it a day. I, I think, I think in today's world, um, money definitely does have a a huge form of credibility. I believe money can define you if you let it. I don't believe it defines me personally at all. I've had like twenty seven cents in my bank account, and also have had like three thousand dollars in my checking account. It was just like ready to ball out, you know. And I was the same exact person. Does money buy happiness? No, that's an easy one. So money does not buy happiness. One, uh, that's, a, that's a quick one. Um, are you happy? Um, I'd say I, no, definitely. I'm very happy with, there's no reason not to be happy, right? Uh, with where it is that I am. Um, but there's definitely moments that um, feels like kind of like, I don't know, just like empty. I think money can buy happiness, but it can only buy either temporary happiness or things that make you happy. Uh, are you happy? I am. I I'm very happy. It's, it's weird. I'm like smiling answering that and like, I like struggle with depression and stuff. So it's weird, but it's like, 
Like, I'm very freaking happy. You always come through with some nice ass cars. <laughs> I don't understand how. Yeah. Like, they're nice. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. What's your name again? Kyle. Kyle? Nice to meet you. I'm Ricky. Today. Yeah, with everything, um, I'd say probably around yeah, about 11,000. 11,000? Yeah. So what is it that you like to say? Oh, um, you know, continue working hard, continue following your dreams, let your passion be what drives you and your success. Um, and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Let's go. Be very loud for Azariah. Hey, make some noise for me if you broke. All right. Y'all that hesitated, y'all all getting robbed by the end of this set tonight. Today we made 60 while we were out in like almost five hours, which is like 12 bucks an hour. Um, I think minimum wage is like 11.50. I would like to be making more money and I'm trying to figure out ways to do that. People have lately been telling me I'm funny. I found that out recently. Um, so that's part of the reason I just started doing stand-up comedy. I can definitely make people laugh. Hey, heads up. We've got the light. I thought they were going to hit you. I know, right? He may have. Hey, but write the check. Write the check. Cha-ching! So all my friends that graduated high school just graduated college, and I'm like, dang, they broke. They like 120000 in debt. I'm just like 2000 in debt. You feel me? So who, who won? We could, we could all read books. You feel me? Like, 